Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to make a three bean bacon and beef and cheese casserole. It's going to be good. My friend uh, Jeff gave me this recipe. He's been talking about it a lot and it makes me hungry every time he talks about it. I'm hungry right now. So uh, let's get started. First step is we got a pound of bacon. We're going to cut into five or six strips this way. You can get it thick from your butcher or at the store, just pre-packaged, which I got right here, you'll see. Alright, we're going to put this in the big pan. Alright, we're going to fry this until it begins to crisp. We don't want it crunchy. It's going to break apart, say these pieces are going to come apart. I shouldn't do this when I'm hungry, should I? It's going to be good at the end, I'll tell you that. Gotta be, gotta be. Even if I do it wrong, gotta be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook this up for a few minutes, and I'll show you what's next. Keeps getting better. I'll show you. All right, starting to get crispy, but we don't want it crunchy. Take it out, save the grease. I have the heat down so it don't get too hot right now. Just gonna put it there. Relax. Stove's getting speckled up. That's all right, you know why, right? Save the grease. All right, I got the bacon out. Now I got one pound of ground beef. Put it right in the bacon grease. Remember I said to save the grease? Oh, yeah. I'm going to chop that up a little bit. Brown that. You don't want that crunchy either, just a nice... Nice brown cooked color. And that's going to make a little bit more of its own grease. Plus the bacon grease is going to make it good. I'm going to take it out with a slotted spoon. So I can save my uh, nice liquid in there. Remember bacon grease and ground beef drippings? Put it on a paper towel just to soak it up a little bit. I'll turn the heat down. We got next step is gonna be good, you'll see that in a second when I get this out. Okay, to the bacon and uh, beef grease, we're gonna add two cups of chopped celery. And also two cups of chopped onion. Any kind you like. Any kind of onion that you like. And we're gonna Simmer that a little bit until it gets somewhat translucent or a little clear or uh, softened up. This is going to smell real good. Well, you think the bacon smelled good? It still does. But this is going to be good. All right, back in a few minutes. All right, that's good. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to strain these. I'm going to strain the grease out. I'm going to get rid of the grease now. That delicious grease. And you could probably use the same pan, but I'm switching to another bigger pan. Strain it out. Well, I'm going to put my bacon, my ground beef, remember? The bacon. How could you forget that? Oh man, that's good just like that. Look at it. No. Oh. Hope this pan's big enough. Celery and onions. I don't think this pan's gonna be big enough. We're gonna find out. Okay, I got some more ingredients coming up. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Flour. Flour. Two. I don't know if this pot's going to be big enough, but if not, I'll transfer it. One and a half cups of brown sugar. I'm going to sprinkle it around so we can mix it in good. So we don't get all clumped in one area. Two cups of 
ketchup. Just ketchup. as great as you think they are, these squeeze bottles. Ketchup was always a problem, wasn't it? That's one. Two cups of ketchup. Okay, stir that around a little bit. Three cans of lima beans. Drain, strain, you can drain them with your lid or put them in your strainer. One, two, three. I don't know if it's going to fit in this pan. Strain, rinse if you want, you don't have to. Strain. them in there. Whoa. Three cans of kidney beans, any brand. We're going to strain them too. I don't know if you hear the dog in the background. That tells you how good it smells. You're going to get some. Three cans of kidney beans. Green. Green. A bit of water, you don't have to. A little bit, you don't have to. Put them in. Look at that mess I made. <clears throat> oh. Maybe. And then three cans of regular pork and beans, any brand. You don't have to strain them, because they like that. They like that in there. It's nine cans of beans. This will be great for the Super Bowl. What do you think of that? Or a picnic? If you still got warm weather? Next time I have a picnic, I'm making this. Me and the dog. Well, I guess that fit, right? Now I'm going to put it back on the heat. I'm sure it would be better if I had a little bit bigger pan. A little garlic powder. Not too much. However you like. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Salt and pepper. Not much. However you like it. Maybe. Uh, did I miss anything? No. Then I'm going to let this simmer, I imagine probably about a half an hour. I'm going to keep it low to medium and I'm going to stir it around. And if I switch to a bigger pot, you'll see that next time. <laughs> but I think it might reduce somewhat. Okay, can you see that? The meat's in there. Oh man, the bacon and the beef, look at that. Alright. Wow. Alright. Look at that. Okay. It's been simmering about 20 minutes. Nice and thick. The pan was big enough. Probably better if your pan was a little bit higher. But I'm stirring it around good. I'm doing good here. Now I got my oven preheated to 350. That's the last step. And um, I'm going to transfer it to a casserole dish. I'll show you that. Pan. Alright, I got a big casserole pan here. I think I just pour this in there. Maybe, without making a mess. Who cares if I make a mess? It's my mess, damn it. It's my kitchen. Woo, that's a pan. That's a pan. 
Oh, yeah. Let me get my spoon. Hang on. Wow. That sure does look good. Hang on. Let me put one. Every little bit out of there. Man, that sure smells good. Even it out. Guess what comes next? <laughs> Guess! Two cups of grated sharp cheese. Woo boy. I guess you can put it on more if you want. I might put it on a little more. What do you think of that? Maybe. Hands are clean. Okay, I might put a little, a little bit more on. I'm putting a little extra cheese on just because I'm cheesy. So I put another cup, so that's like three cups of cheese. But you can do it however you like. Wow. Man. Glad you told me about this recipe. So, it's 4.30. I'm going to put it in my oven for 45 minutes, cover with foil first. minutes covered with foil at 350 then I'm gonna remove the foil for 15 minutes hopefully get the cheese a little crunchy because I like it like that too now again you can change this up however you like but we're gonna like it like this right now I'm starving man come on All right, I'm back in 45 minutes let you know all right it's been 45 minutes no. Wow. I'm going to uncover it. Can you see it? Whoa, look at that. Uncover that for 15 more minutes at 350. Back in 15 minutes. All right, that's the last 15 minutes. Wow, it's bubbling. Look at that. Wow, we. All right, I'm gonna leave that sit there for 10 or 15 minutes. Alright, look at this. Good texture. I could mix the cheese all in, but I want this corner with the cheese on top because I like it like that. My first taste, man. Wow, that's a big meal. See, then we can mix this all up. Mix the whole thing up if you want. I think you could put uh, some hot sauce in there. What if you like, you know, some more spices, uh, anything. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Bacon, hamburger, mmm. Brown sugar, ketchup, brown sugar. It's really sweet. A lot of beans. You know what that means. It's a mean three bean lean, Gene. Mmm. Mmm. You want 
want some? Dog wants some. So anyway. Thanks for the recipe, Jeff. This is good for your Super Bowl parties, picnics, remember? Tomorrow, I'm going to make chili dogs in my pressure cooker with this. This and hot dogs in pressure cooker. I'll make that tomorrow, five minutes. Alright, man, we eat it up. Have fun. Try it. Remember, you can change it up. You can put ham steak in there. Whatever you want. Some pork, maybe. That's good. I'm going to probably eat half of it right now. Alright, talk to you later. Thank you.